As we all know, Seaside is a very wet draining town, so we're not to where we can skate our skates. So during the winter, we decided to throw another competition through here at the Seaside Coast. But as you know, there's no ski management. So we decided to go down to SSS and ask them if we could borrow their ramps to put on the competition. They gave us the permission, and we decided to load it all up into their rental truck. We loaded skateboard rails, skate ramps, kickers, quarter pipes, everything you can think of. We brought them here, and we started to unload and assemble all the ramps. Um, after that long process of loading and loading all the ramps from the convention center, we finally had a legit setup. Then we hung posters and banners to represent the sponsors that gave us the equipment to host the event. SSS, Clean Line, Bikes and Beyond, what he was talking about, were all the ones who made it possible. After this last and final competition, we finally succeeded in our 50-hour goal. How does it seem like pure fun and enjoyment? Overall, we had a great time with helping the skaters at Seaside. Uh, we learned a lot this past year with what it takes to get involved in the community and the skate park project, about funding it, about planning meetings, contests, and just getting together with the young kids. Um, all these skills will help us a lot in the <coughs> development in the communities. We've also learned how to organize events and what it takes to get them ready. This all took a lot of time and preparation just to get the camp and competition started. Even though it seems to be a lot of fun helping the kids around town become better skateboarders and hope they continue to take what they learned at the camp and progressed even further. I think the most important thing we took out of this was the happiness from all the kids. Each and every day they came to the camp, they were just eager and ready to learn more and more. This was just a great thing for us to help out the young kids and help them progress in their skills skateboarding. So many people hear the word skateboarding and they immediately think negatively of it. I think if there's more groups of skaters out there that possess a positive image as our group does here, I think that skateboarding can become another sport just like soccer or basketball. Uh, right now we have a slideshow we'd like to show you guys. <coughs>
everybody just stood on campus. We had all the little kids stand in the big bowl. We threw like skateboard wheels, skateboard posters, t-shirts, and then they're all just amping and scrambling for all the stuff that they're going to watch. <laughs> And then uh, this time I'd like to thank anyone who's ever helped with the Seaside Skate Park Project, Angela Perilous, Mary Blake, Seaside Parks and Rec, the City of Seaside. And thanks, thanks for